Hi, I'm Matt, and on today's Matt's World DIY, I'm creating this delicious, sweet, marshmallowy treat. It's not marshmallow rice krispies, it's marshmallow something else. It's so easy to put together, it's really quick, and it's got lots of different flavors. It's a cool balance between salt and savory. You're gonna super love it. So, before I get started into the video though, remember, if you like what I'm creating on my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Also, give me a like with a thumbs up and um, offer some comments if you think you have suggestions or if you've tried the recipe, tell me how it came out. So with that said and done, let's get into the recipe. To get us started into this recipe, we're gonna need six tablespoons of butter. We're going to heat them in a saucepan, in a pot, <laughs> perhaps. Um, we're gonna heat that up, we're gonna melt it, and then we're going to melt into it a 16 ounce bag of mini marshmallows. If you wanna use the large marshmallows, you can do that as well. Uh, we're going to reserve a, about a cup of those off on the side but we're gonna get that into the pan and melt it all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's how much I need. Chop it up a little bit so it'll help with the melting process. Some of the things you'll need for this recipe are some candy bars of your choice. I'm going to use Twix because it has chocolate and caramel and that little cookie. You'll also need some kettle cooked potato chips. And I'm also going to put in some pretzel sticks. And I'm also going to put in some kettle popcorn, as well as some chocolate sandwich cookies, uh, otherwise known as perhaps Oreos, if you choose to use those. But I'm going to first open up each one of my little cookie things, <laughs> Twix cookies. And if you wanted to use something, if you wanted to use something like, um, I don't know, if you wanted to use Butterfingers, or if you wanted to use Baby Ruth's, or if you wanted to use uh, Kit Kats, you could use those as well. That's the beauty of this recipe. It's not like a hard rock science. Uh, it is very free form. It is use what you want, as long as you are providing a balance of the sweet and the salty, this recipe should come together quite well for you. Something to think about is that this is also something that you can do with your leftover candies from Halloween. Instead of having that candy sitting and going stale in a bag, uh, sitting in your son or daughter's closet. So anyway, I'm going to chop these cookie pieces, these candy bar pieces in half. How much is it? I had one, two, three, four, five. I had 10 Twix bar uh, pieces and I just chopped them in half and here we go. Next, I'm going to chop up, not really chop up, but I'm going to half and or quarter some of these um, Oreo cookies. Roughly 10 cookies quartered into pieces there. Now I'm going to take about a cup to two cups of the uh, kettle cooked potato chips. Just setting those in a bowl. You do not want to chop these up or mash them up because in the process of mixing, they're going to break down. I'm putting the kettled popcorn in a bowl as well, about one to two cups. I'm also going to take approximately one, one and a half cups of the pretzels and put that into a bowl. One of the things you should keep in mind is that if you want more salty or you want more sweet, you can go ahead and change the proportions of each one of these ingredients to suit your palate and uh, satisfy your need for a delicious snack. Now I'm going to get the butter warmed up and melt my marshmallows and start adding my ingredients. We have our butter melted, we've added the marshmallows, we're just uh, slowly heating everything up until it becomes a nice liquid uh, mixture of melted marshmallows and butter. It's gonna be delicious. Now that my marshmallows have melted, I'm going to start adding my ingredients. I'm going to start with my chips, putting those in, and my pretzels. So these salty components are really good. I'm just going to mix those in. And I'm also gonna put my popcorn in. 
There are a lot of things in this awesome marshmallowy treat. I think I could get some more chips and some more popcorn in here. So I'm just going to add a little more, a few more chips, probably the rest of this popcorn bag. Now you're going to might be saying, well, why haven't you put any of the sweet stuff in there? Well, number one, the popcorn does have sugar in it. And number two, if we put, or if I put those chocolate bars in this, they would just melt out. So we don't want to do that. What we want to do though, is put the chocolate strategically in our nine inch baking dish that I've lined with parchment paper. I'll show you what we're doing. So here's my nine inch parchment paper dish. I'm going to take about half of these cookie pieces and put them in. Then I'm also going to take about half of the cookies, drop them in there as well. Then we're going to layer it with marshmallow stuff, then sweets, then marshmallow stuff, and whatever we have left and push it all down. Okay, here we go in with our marshmallow mixture. We're going to put about half of that in here. My hands are clean, super duper clean. I'm going to try to spread this out. I'm going to do some more cookie pieces. Or candy bar and cookie pieces. Let's just do the remainder of this marshmallow mixture on top. Look at that ooey gooey goodness. Looks like it's overflowing, right? We're going to fix that in a minute. Then I'm going to put my cookie pieces. Whoa, whoa. Just a few more candy bar pieces that we're going to put on the top here. Of course, this top is actually going to be the bottom whenever we're finished. Now that my hands are nice and wet, I'm able to push this down without any of it sticking to my hands. You could use the bottom of a cup or a bowl or a plate or something like that to do this, but I figured, you know what? I'm going to use what I have on hand. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, just do it this way. So this, once again, is a nine inch square baking dish, baking pan. Now that I've washed my hands of all the buttery marshmallowy goo, I'm going to put this in the fridge for about 30 minutes or so, and then uh, check it, see what it's like. If it needs more time, we'll keep it in, but it probably wouldn't. Uh, so I'm gonna pop it in for about 30 minutes, and then we'll take it out and start shaping it, cutting it. So these have been in the freezer, the refrigerator for a little while, the freezer for a little while, total of about 25 minutes. We're going to see how well this comes out of the pan and how well it cuts up. It probably could sit for longer, but of course I'm getting impatient. So let's see what we can uh, come up with. So what I'm going to do is take my plastic, it's just a plastic cutting board. I'm going to put it on there, turn it over, turn it out, sticking a little bit on the sides. Not too badly though. That's pretty good. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. I went ahead actually and I added some chocolate, um, some chocolate chunks to the top. So that's now actually on the bottom. Let's take a cut into it and um, I'm going to do like some reasonable sized pieces. And you know, if this turns out sticking to the knife, <laughs> sticking to my finger, uh, sticking to the knife too much, you can wet, just dip your knife in water and it should um, help prevent any kind of additional stickage, stickage, sticking of the, um, of the treat. Okay. Oh my God, that is good. It's not too bad on my teeth either. It really is, it's cool. That is so good. This is so good. Oh my God. I'm getting sweet and I'm getting salty and the textures, it's like there's some soft stuff, there's some chewy stuff, there's some crunchy stuff. I'll tell you this, my neighbors are gonna like this. I can't eat these because it's just too much on my teeth. This is really, really good. <laughs> 
Good job, Matt. Okay, so remember, if you enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe. Also go ahead and give it a try and mix and match some of your own favorite treats into the recipe yourself. You might be delighted to find out that the combination of sweet and savory works out beautifully. Also check out my playlist on my other sweets and bakes and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.